Asperitas have come to be associated with thunderstorms that follow, even though the formation itself does not create rain. Although convective rain clouds can grow under the same unstable atmospheric conditions that are needed to form the wavy cloud base, this means that Asperitas may be accompanied by other cloud that produces precipitation. In 2008, the Cloud Appreciation Society proposed that this previously unknown cloud structure be included in the World Meteorological Organization's International Cloud Atlas. Public submissions of photograph of the spectacular cloud formations between that time and 2015 helped to strengthen the, in this argument. Asperitas became the first new cloud type since the Cirrus in Torrentis in 1951, when the classification was approved at the WMO's 17th Congress in 2015. Asperitas's habitat type has yet to be identified, but the WMO started investigating the clouds mysterious in 2008. Although Asperitas clouds have been spotted all over the world, including in Alabama and New Zealand, it is rather uncommon to encounter these striking clouds. 